guys, how's it going? So this morning, Erin and I are working on the autumn blaze maples that line our lane. These are trees that we planted last year. It was late summer, early fall. It was early enough to where they still had green leaves and then we were able to enjoy their fall show and got a little sneak peek preview of what we are going to be able to enjoy for years to come. It was absolutely gorgeous. And it was a project we didn't intend on being able to do until this spring, but everything worked out. We were able to source the amount of trees we needed in the size we wanted. And then we got them early enough to where they were able to root in a little bit. So they've got a head start for this year, which is awesome. So when we planted these trees, we didn't stake any of them, which we typically don't. We don't stake anything unless we notice an issue. Um, and I haven't done extensive research on tree staking. I know that um, in some cases it can cause a weaker tree but even the pros those who say don't stake trees will say that in some cases it's necessary like if you're planting massive trees like this with a huge tree canopy um, in a very windy area which there's no wind break for these trees these are going to be the wind break kind of um, and they went through a few really strong wind storms like we typically get anywhere from oh, I don't know 40 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts um, and we usually get a really strong wind storm every single week throughout the summer and fall months. Did you forget something? Yeah, we need to get a ladder. Okay, so we're gonna head to the barn quick and get a ladder. And then when we get back out here, I'll show you all the stuff that we have that we're gonna be trying out to stake these up. But I think we should go along the driveway here on the east side. We can give you an update on the daffodils. And they're growing kind of weird. I, <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, what to say about them except for these are ice follies daffodils and you can see that one side is growing higher than the other and i'm thinking it's because this is the south side of the pot receives a lot more sun and i think it just warms up faster and retains heat while the north side stays shaded and colder but every single pot grew that way so there's the second one same story and third and then oh i gotta hop off look at these first ones Look at how pretty. These are Ice Follies daffodils. But you know what? Same story in this container too. I'm hoping because daffodils last for a long time that the other side has a chance to grow up. So that at least we have like a week or two. Oh, I'll bet it all. Of them looking Can like a bouquet. Can we turn the pot around? I think that would be really hard. Can you imagine how heavy those are right now? Because yeah, they're, they're, probably they're heavy. like very moist soil and they're already a heavy container plus we have drip connected so yeah it'd be a lot of work it would be i don't know we'll see we may not be planting bulbs in these again if it does if it doesn't pan out either way it'll look pretty from one side yeah. this side the south side right now and the north side later on Ooh, look at this we are prepared whoa nice <laughs> this is my favorite ladder. Which one is that? Just because it's light. Oh yeah. I like this one and I like this one. Six foot and four foot, like the, standard ladder. The Warner ladders are nice. They're like, um, I feel like maybe they're stronger or would last longer, but I still would prefer having more of these because they're lighter. Lightweight. You know what I mean? Like I would rather buy two of these oh, yeah. over the course of the same period. Uh -huh. Uh, just because it's easier or like, I don't know, lighter to use that and all that. That makes sense. Okay, so we're back over here by the trees. Let me just kind of show you an example of what we're dealing with or what we're going to try this to correct here. has a here. big lean on it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so what, like maybe um, it looks like it needs to come Oh yeah. Like oh that? Right, Nope, too much. Too much? Right in there. A little bit less. So yeah. like walk around a little bit and see if it's leaning from a different direction. Looks good, good, good. Oh, it looks really great from all. So really, if we put a guy, like a, or not a guy, but a stake, stake over, over here, there, uh -huh. I think, I think this would be a pretty easy job. Yeah. So you guys, the wind comes from about where Aaron was. Yeah. So it makes sense that the, um, the trees, some of them are leaning in this direction and it actually corrected it from two sides when you pulled it like that, Aaron. Did it? And you guys can see how crooked it is um, when you kind of compare it to the fence posts, which are straight up and down. And we just don't want our trees to continue to grow like that. So we're hoping that we stake them up now. We let the stake stay on just for the growing season. And then we take them off in the fall. Um, because once they lose their leaves, the wind isn't catching them near as much. And so it's not as much of a, like a, a problem, I guess. And then if we can just get away with staking for one season, then 
I think it'll be better for the overall health of the trees as well. I did a tiny amount of research and it seemed like some people were saying that if you stake a tree, like let's say the strap is right where my hand is, what will happen is that this part of the tree will remain weak and then you'll almost create like a, like a knuckle or a, a second trunk right here and it'll start to get really strong and thick right here. Um, so you have a weak tree right here and then it becomes strong right here. I don't know if that's true or not. That was just something that I saw online. And as we all know, everything online that you read is exactly <laughs> It's <right>. truth. <laughs> um, but that would probably be over the course of a longer amount yeah, of time. Yeah, maybe that's like guessing. if you left it on for years. Yeah. We're, this is like a corrective thing. It almost feels like not staking. It's just, I mean, staking, but it's like just a, a single season correction. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it corrects in a single season. We'll see. Do you feel the rain? Is it starting to rain? Yes. <laughs> it looks like it's going to stop there. You guys see like the rain cloud is right over us and then we've got blue skies coming. It is cold. It's, it's like a little chilly. low 40s, but it's really windy and chilly. But let me show you like this tree right here looks fine. I don't think we're going to have to do any staking to that one. So we're only going to stake up the ones that are having a, a clear issue. So let us show you what we're going to be using today. We've got a menagerie of things. Okay, so we have three different types of stakes. This is the smallest one right here. It's like a tent stake. Um, it has a little eyelet. Is that what you would call that? I don't know. Hole? Hole, <laughs> hole for the tree rope. Um, so anyway, this is, I forget what the dimensions are. We'll put on the screen what the dimensions are of each of these things. So that's the first one. The second one um, is this one, which has like a little auger, uh, yeah, I guess, like on one auger. side. Mm -hmm. So you have to like push it in the ground and twist and it kind of keeps going farther but you have to keep putting a lot of pressure on it this one um i already tested with this one and it's pretty hard to get in the ground did you try putting like a large screwdriver through the eye on the top and then that's just exactly twisting what it? i did oh it is it's and just it's, still... it's once you get toward the ground it gets it gets tough so uh -huh. i don't know that i'd really recommend this one very well um this one is interesting so it comes in two pieces your little eyelet screws on like this See that? So this screws on and off. So if I screw it off, what's nice is that it has this, um, what do you call this? Piece. A piece. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it has a piece <laughs> and you can uh, get a socket to fit. So this is a 17 millimeter socket um, and you can put it on like that. And then this is a little adapter to go into your drill bit. So. Burr. It is chilly. So anyway, we're gonna it'll end up being like this so we can just drill this into the ground I kind of feel like this is gonna be the way to go That's longer too. We'll link all of these down below all of these stakes and then he's also got Oh, he's also got some tree straps here. So here's the label Oops, if I can grab it Tree strap 16 inch they look like this. They're nice and soft. Oh, these are tent stakes, Aaron. Yeah. The smaller ones. Yeah. Okay. And then tree rope, which I got down at the garden center, which this will, won't actually go, whoops, won't actually go around the tree, even though we use the, this around trees down at the garden center because it's nice and soft and it doesn't damage the trunk. Um, but this will tie to the stake and then it'll run through the ends of the strap so it won't actually be touching the trees. I also brought out some mallets because I think we'll need those for the tent stakes. Yeah. So... Ready anyway, to do this thing? Of course. Oh, is the sun coming out? Please let it come out. Burn through it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> come on. So I think what we'll do is just work on these and hopefully you can see what we're doing. Uh, good enough? <laughs> I don't know. I, Aaron was like, should I try to get some close-up shots? And I thought, this isn't really like a how to stake trees videos maybe we shouldn't get any well we're also not even necessarily recommending that yeah, people do it exactly the way we do it it's mm -hmm. like stake at your own risk yeah We need the big drill. Yeah, need the bigger drill. This is not enough power. Yeah, we tried. All right, Aaron brought out the big guns. <laughs> we'll give this a shot. <laughs> this is a joist drill. Is that what that's called? Yeah, stud and joist drill. Oh. 
I guess that works. Honestly, like, <laughs> first of all, nobody's going to have one of these. And well, I mean, some people might, but that's kind of an odd drill to have. Yeah, I don't know. Well, there you go. It's in. Try pulling it out. Well, I don't really want to. Why? What do you think it'll come out? Yeah, I think it might. Serious? I don't know. So we'll just <laughs> tamp it down. Tamp that down. It doesn't feel very secure. Really? Is it just wobbly or yeah, it's I think wobbly. you should pull on it? No, we'll um well we'll pull on it when we put the tension on it. I suppose. See what happens. I did it a little bit at an angle. Uh-huh. So that you know, hopefully, yeah, so I don't a, know. Yeah, it is a little bit of, at an angle. Uh, my mouth is numb. I am no longer able to speak. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna do it somewhere, maybe like up here. And I think, whoa. <laughs> I think you're supposed to wrap around. Oh, I hope that you guys are able to see it. Like this? Can you see that? I think so. I, I. I can. <laughs> it's I, hard for me to tell on the screen. So that's how I'm wrapping it. I don't know if that's correct or not, but that's how I'm, do that's how I'm doing Looks it. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, now I gotta do, go back to my Boy Scout days, figure out how to tie this together. I didn't know you did Boy Scouts. I never did Boy Scouts. Oh, you didn't? No. <laughs> I was gonna say that seems like, I would have known that, but. Like that. And then... Oh, look at that. Ha! I didn't know you knew how to do knots. I know everything about knots. <laughs> Actually, I know nothing about knots. Oh, that looks so much better. Well, you said you wanted to go a hair more, Yeah, right? I think it's okay to correct just a, a hair more than what it was. Then I think you could correct a hair more. Okay. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Let me look okay. from this side. That looks really good. Okay. Yeah. Also, you might notice we've got a beautiful crop of weeds growing over here. There's some grass in there as well. See? There's some grass in there, but a ton of weeds. We kind of knew that that was going to happen the second that we cultivated this area that's just been kind of wild up to this point. And then once you put water on it, it really like brings everything to the surface. And it sure, I mean, it looks nice and green from afar. And if you kind of just look at it out of the side of your eye, um, but when you get up close, oh my word, we have a lot of work to do to get this nice, to be a nice lawn. But we just got all the stuff we need to do it. So we'll probably show you. So this is basically what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the trees. We're just gonna be assessing each one of them, deciding where to put the strap, um, and then just tying them off. So anyway, hopefully we can get this done pretty quick. Yeah. So you, there's three staked already. You worked on two of them. Yeah, and, and some of them we won't need to stake. Right, some of them we can skip. So here we go. <laughs> Last tree. It's a little too much. Uh, a little bit more than that, right there. So this is the one that the delivery driver ran into. And this is how the bark has healed. You can see it did a pretty good job of healing over. I was worried that it just like ripped the roots. Cause didn't it sound like that, Aaron, in the video? Yeah. It sounded like the whole root ball got ripped to shreds, but. Benjamin loved watching that video. Over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, he calls it the pizza car. Which, 
Trying to think, it was a DoorDash. Yeah. Trying to think of what I ordered. Probably pizza. <laughs> no, I don't think it was pizza. No? But it's the pizza car. Yeah. Well, the trees are looking so much better. Doesn't that make you happy, Aaron? Yeah. I know it's been bugging you for a long time. It really has. Yeah. I have a feeling we'll need to do some corrective changes over the summer as well. Mm -hmm. I think we'll start to look at them and we might think, you know, I think that one needs to be straightened a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if we come out here and make some changes. It's funny because this is where Aaron and my personality differences come out. This is where it surfaces because Aaron is very much so like organized, likes things to be very straight and staked and all of that. And I do too, but like my personality in the beginning is just like, oh, just plant them, they'll be fine. And then I end up with a mess in the end. So it's a really good balance that he comes out here and we get this kind of thing done. He kind of spearheaded, um, doing a little bit of research, getting the right stuff and, um, and then kind of motivating me to get out here and get it done. Also, this was the best steak, I think. This was the winner. I think this was the cheapest one too. It's the easiest to install. Didn't require any power tools. Yeah, you just pound it in. It's just like a tent stake. Probably easiest to remove too. Yeah, I I'll link imagine. that below and make sure to like, I'll link all of them, but this is the one. Again, I do want a disclaimer that this is not a tutorial on how to stake trees because I know that we're going to probably get a lot of differing opinions down below. This is merely a corrective staking corrective training for a very short period of time we do not plan on leaving these uh this staking system on these trees uh past this growing season uh, and we'll make any changes we need to along the way i mean we're pretty good at keeping our eyes on things you know the the problem is is when you stake something and then you forget it's there um and then all of a sudden you know five years later you're like Where'd the stake go? Yeah, it where this, grew around the stake. Yeah, because the trees will grow around those straps if you leave them on too long. So anyway, that's pretty much it for today's project. They do look so much better being staked up. And then we'll show you guys some progress updates through the season. Um, and then if we need to come out here and do any changing, uh, stake them differently in any way, we'll let you guys know. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.